Do-it-yourself rape kits are new. They're meant to give victims a way to capture time-sensitive evidence if they're unwilling or unable to go to a hospital. A former FBI special agent launched Preserve Kit this summer. And Me Too Kit, founded by sexual assault survivor Madison Campbell, has been working on a pilot program to distribute the kits on college campuses, where four out of five victims of sexual assault never report it. If you don't feel like reporting, it's a better than nothing, you know, kind of approach. In recent weeks, six state attorneys general have sent warnings and cease and desist letters against both products, which have also drawn criticism from advocacy groups. While I think that their intentions is great, I do think that this is concerning because it could negatively impact survivors. And now concerns from Congress, among them that the Me Too kit could deter survivors from getting professional medical care and that DIY rape kits won't hold up in court. There's no indication uh, that they will be able to use uh, as evidence in a courtroom. Although judges may have some discretion on admissibility. I think it's really important to note that not even a rape kit as it exists now is automatically admissible. Due to the backlash, Preserve Kit pulled its products from Amazon after just a few weeks. Me Too Kit is still slated to launch in 2020. There's a lot of things that we can do, but um, this Me Too Kit is not the answer. As questions about these at-home kits continue to swirl. Liz McLaughlin, NBC News.